Gareth Gates here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to this series of vlogs where I'm going to be addressing something that's quite hard for me to speak about, my stammer. I'm really kind of opening up here and the reason why I'm doing this is to just try and educate people. I touched upon it in my last vlog about life at school and you know when I was a child I didn't know anybody else who had a stammer. It was a very lonely place. And if I hadn't known anybody else, at least I could have kind of related to them. Uh, but having not known anybody and nobody in my school that I knew of had a stammer or had anything that kind of made them socially inept or held them back. And so it was a very, very lonely place. And I just want to address a few things maybe the parents or if you, if you have a child who stammers how they can help. One thing that helped me is my parents went into school often, certainly when I was moving schools or if they saw I was having a hard time at school, they'd often head into school and speak to my teachers, my head masters, uh, just purely just to educate my teachers, which would then in turn maybe address it with the class and so, you know, students knew. And I think that's very important because, you know, a lot of the bullying I received, a lot of the hard times in class when I'm trying to speak and people are laughing. In, in hindsight, I don't actually look back and blame um, most of the people that were doing that, I don't really blame them. There were obviously the odd individuals that took it much further who actually went on to, you know, mental abuse, mental bullying, physical bullying it turned into. At, at, at times I used to get battered at first school. Um, it's hard, but um, I'm not really talking about those individuals. I'm talking about my class as a whole and people in my circle as a whole. And I found that as soon as my parents went into school and explained what was happening to my teachers, which, as I said, then in turn educated the class as a whole, it just become more accepted. And I just wish that had happened a, a, a little bit more because once they became aware of it, once we educated them a little bit more about it, and how they can help or you know what what doesn't help i.e laughing or trying to finish sentences or anything like that um, it became much easier certainly wasn't a easy ride at, at school but i think that's key and if you are a parent that has a child who stammers i think that's very important to do and to take on board just try and educate everybody uh, around the stammerer itself and again that's why I'm doing these vlogs to try and spread the word a bit more try and educate people who have never met anybody with a, a, a stammer so that when they do it might be a, a little bit easier on them but also most importantly it'd be easier on the stammer on the on the stammerer um, yeah and I think that's that's the first thing I'd like to address also one thing that really helped me at school too and I was very fortunate at the age of eight I kind of realized and discovered I had a talent in in music I discovered I was able to sing that went on to being my only form of expression I couldn't speak at all as a, as a child and so then at the age of eight when I figured out I could sing that was the only way of getting out of me what was in me and I think my parents noticed that at a very young age and how happy that made me because I could finally express myself and they found I weren't as kind of pent up as tense in life because I now had a new form of release and you know that then went on to me learning how to play instruments I learned to play the piano the guitar the drums which was a great outlet just to you know smash out your anxiety or all that stress because you couldn't say what you want to say um, and also I was I was very into sport as well that helped and stammerers that I've met over the years who I've spoke with 
well, tried to speak with, <laughs> um, you know, have expressed the same. It, they found that when they found something else other than speech as a way of getting out of them what was in them, some other talent, some other thing to focus on as opposed to being so focused on speech or so focused on how different you are, if you have a, an, another outlet, then that really helps. So I also urge parents with uh, children who stammer, or even if you're an adult stammerer and you're watching this video and you're still kind of finding things hard, try and find something else that you can excel at. Um, I'll touch a little bit more on this in future vlogs. I think I've rambled on for way too long. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you've uh, enjoyed this vlog, if you found that it's helped you in any way, then please come back and see uh, future vlogs that I'll be posting very soon.